guys are cheering for Illuminati. I mean, I'm 80 against my org. I'm banning all of you from my chat. Do you find it a little bit odd that uh, Jake didn't say that Juby's a friend of the show as well? Um, no. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know. They're cool. They're cool like that. Jake, Jake's so slow. Jake is so selective. Nice. I feel like everybody here is a friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, everybody on the screen, apart from. Okay, apart guys, from I got I got the man. cookies. Let's get it. <laughs> I mean, you you said that I didn't say. Well, it. you were thinking uh, it is the problem. Zar Matt. No, 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 not true. Uh, Z Zarya here into the Arisa. So we saw like a lot of Arisa yesterday. Uh, I, I think we'll continue to see a lot of Arisa. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just how can they kind of keep Hawk, you know, with that armor on, right? As uh, you see, they get really aggressive, just like how the desk was talking about. No Why aren't you there? Exactly move I'm a streamer for them, right them not a player. No Swift Step for Squid. I've there? been on Luminosity yeah, for like two years, chat. Like three like years almost. Them down. I'm a streamer I mean, for them. This they just got a team. Well. is looking at one target and then just kind of running at them. Dante is there more to help and facilitate the rest of his team. Hawk's there to really initiate and engage with the Orisa, try and push people back. Now, nice little cap for M80. It's going to be a pretty tough ask for Luminosity here without King kind of getting a pick off to really do much because Orisa, unbelievably hard to take down. And with King going down like that, I mean, that's just a reset angle. Yeah, I mean, you, you lose the Tracer right at the start. I mean, these are the types of things that Pelican can do, right? I've been you with know, LG for a long time, man. Look at Lep taking that position all the way up there, like in the skybox, basically blocked by the UI. Oh, yeah, uh, what? Looking for a boop as okay. he's going to come down. Yeah. Do they know? No, they do not. <laughs> Dante no, on the no. ground. King gets a little bit of revenge there. Dante's the main focus. Lep did receive the Suzu to stay alive. And as Hydra I tweeted out, that I joined skies, Luminosity October 3rd, 2022. But where's the support? UV does end up teleporting back to him, but that just leaves Hawker and Island to get taken out by the rest of Luminosity. M80 kind of scattering a little bit there. Focus fire, not really uh, being able to pin anybody down either, especially losing Pelican that early too. They lost a lot of control of that fight. I also think maybe getting a little bit too cute there for M80, right? Like the Lucio in the skybox coming down with like a boop, like uh Yeah, you know, buddy, let's go LG, let's go LG! Right. Uh, no, they, they were but also, really let's go M80, because I think they're, uh, they're gonna win. Get the point now, you know, double support all right, you win this fight, you gotta grab for the next one, yeah, maybe... Drowsy, pretty nice, I'm new tier one's on, my friend. You're right back in things if you're Luminosity. Yeah, this pulse one's going to be hard to land, Matt, as there's uh, two bubbles to kind of get through. There's one, just saw Dante use it. Rush on the point for Luminosity, but are they going to make good use of it? That's the question. I mean, decently, Dante is kind of standing in there chilling, but I don't think he wants to be there at all. Actually, just throws out the grab as Hydro tries to duel with the DPS on the Ooh! back line. But it's just a snipe vision, but King is there to return the favor. As, uh, well, Hawk uh, does what Hawk does best on the Orisa. It's just pushing Dante around, bullying them. That Graviton Surge, it did find someone, Matt, but not exactly a squishy target that you can all in on after it yeah it's just wild to think about like the the arc of orisa in terms of uh basically completely stationary tank at one point just shield yeah. standing there and now just like a speed demon into the back line just can play so aggressive that uh it, it's a completely different place a completely different here it looks like pelican trying to set up maybe a blink to the high ground here with that pulse bomb knows at least two players are lurking yeah, it's got his eye on Juby and King. And they're staring straight back at him. Receiving a little bit of support there from UV every now and then. Some cars being thrown towards uh, his direction. King, though, takes a kunai square to the dome. And now Dante is the target again. There's the pulse. It did end up connecting. A lot of bubbles there for Dante, but now he's flat out. Come on, guys. Come on. You guys need to win this fight. Perkin just can't land a kill. Eventually manages to pick off UV. And it's up to M80 now to force Luminosity to come to them. The point does end up getting flipped here. Pelican just trying to distract for as long as possible. A bit of a bloodthirsty battle, but Luminosity win out in the end with 50 percent in that, building now. I'm stress eating because I don't I I think M80 is, is gonna win. Zarya, like, if you can get both but I have to cheer for luminosity because of the or like Hawk goes in I'm stress eating Pelican as well. Like you can start to ramp up on this Zarya like uh, think about how we talked about how the symmetry you can ramp up, right? You can start to get the Zarya really healthy. It's a Suzu there. Just to keep uh no look like it was King alive because he's hunting for Pelican.
Yeah, Pelican, they are going to meet each other in that small corridor, but looks like they're going to separate, go their separate ways, at least for the time being. Just waiting for that rush to kind of wear off, and now you can go with the rush of your own. It's exactly what happens. However, Hydro's already dead. The trade on to Dante is going to be good, though, as Hawk can now plant himself firmly on the point with that Terra Surge. And if he from Luminosity, it would be a fool to walk towards him, but they're going to have to to touch. OT is here as M80 do manage to find the flip. And I stick on to Vision, though. Where'd he go? Vision didn't even see King. I mean, look. Doesn't really need to now. Dante, Hawk. I mean, they're having a nice honorable duel in the front lines, but Hawk has to back all the way up. That yeah. pulse bomb kill from King there was absolutely massive as Luminosity finds the flip again. Yeah, and that's good one shit, where, Luminosity. Yeah, good good shit. Out just a second where you know, Juby has the sound barrier and they just kind of like let Dante down. And like, they have grab Maybe and they have a, fucking rail. You know, not have the line I can't wait until we, we see them grab rail. Point. This grab could be pretty huge. Vision with the overclock, can't quite find the shot, so it's had a headshot onto Hydron, but received the beat just in time for, to survive. Lag! Lag! Hydron's gonna rip his now, a little bit of revenge maybe, but Dante says not today. Actually just locks him into the grab and jumps towards him. They end up uh -oh. trading out, and once again, Hawks left, basically alone on the point. It can come, do on, he come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the staying powerful luminosity right now? Vision's trying to play point guard for his support. King does come up with no! another kill, but no. <laughs> No slide for Vision. Well, he had the slide, but didn't quite get what? there in the end. As Hawk was able to just basically sit there and wait for Luminosity to barrel into him. <laughs> Losing Dante so early on in that fight again, it's not working out well for Luminosity. Yeah, you can see they're really putting a lot of the, the focus on getting Dante out of these fights. And you know, when they're able to keep him alive, good things obviously happening for Luminosity. I would say outside of that, Vision had a really nice uh, first round on the Sojourn. Uh, I draw, you know, in really Vision, nice, that'll yeah. be a really good head-to-head -head matchup. I really workout. like how both uh, teams aren't series. mirroring each other, though. Yeah, really. I love seeing Sojourn, man. I was talking to Jake in the green room earlier on. I think it's one of my favorite heroes just to watch and spectate. Just the amount you can oh, do with the slide and the rail gun. High, high praise from you. <laughs> what? what are you saying? Hero you like. A hero you like. Oh my god. LG Let's actually means losing like games. Yeah, where's here, my mods? Here, yeah. Can we get a ban on that? So, yeah, this guy's making fun of the, the, the org that I'm on. Ban uh, that. So last week, you know, Brian, Pritchard Mass at 33 uh, months, months, my friend. In the reaper, and you see how much pressure they're just putting up on Dante, <laughs> just firing with both chain guns as they're trying to keep him up. Well, it looks ridiculous. I mean, Hydron can melt the shields, but his health bar gets melted a little quicker than he expected by the looks of it. Dive in from Hawk, trading pretty favorably. But the fact that they were able to keep Dante alive when he was getting mowed down like that is here. insane. They can speed away, of course, still having their Lucio alive and well. And with Pelican, I can imagine they have the shift, but all oh, left going super low. You're just about stalling out here for as long as you can, and uh, stall they did is uh, Dante is actually going to end up falling. Luminosity just needed to find the kills. They needed to clean up that fight a lot quicker a than they did, and MMT come back and they cap the point. I, I mean, just finding his second kill on the point, right? I uh, you know they end up getting the first kill. They control some of the high ground. They move back down to the point. Uh, and, and they get a few players weak, but never really kind of picking a target and chasing that player down, allowing M80 to just kind of stay in the fight. Uh, and that ends up allowing you know, Hawk to come back on the Maga. It ends up winning it. This will be a TP to the opposite side high ground. Is you know, Both these comps with the Sim want to fight on the point. This rush is going to be super rough to fight into as well. Juby seems to agree. Escorts himself away from the fight, but escorts himself away from his entire team. But you've got to imagine at that point, Luminosity are kind of uh, they're kind of thing and is done. That fight, at least, they end up resetting after MAT used the rush. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of like the key, right? They they see they use the rush. They're in a position there where they're probably not going to invest in anything. Uh, you give up 50%, right? You win the next two fights, though, and you're, you're back at even footing. So that's kind of the thinking here. If you're a Luminosity, you give yourself a big advantage in terms of ults. Yeah, the Simcom just wants to sit on the point, Matt. So all they want to do is sit on the point with the wall or oh, the ult. <laughs> Speaking of ults, though, where did Pelican come from? Straight from above, straight on top of their heads. Squid for, uh, rush use Rose Squid? Sure thing, no worries. I've got a Suzu on top of me, so I'm immortal for a brief window and a double kill for Pelican and damage on top, too. Yeah. The, the, the rush comes down and then Hawk just uses <laughs> the MAGA charge directly into it. Uh, just, the, you know, face first into that fight where uh, we, we thought the MAGA would be dead, but we've seen teams actually do really nice jobs. I think it's more situational than all the time. They now. TP it's out. Oh, fight no. here in the close quarters. Vision does receive the beat there, but the TP, he couldn't take it in time. He's still frying people in the front line, though. Let's get a quick M80 listening in this fight. 
Come on, come on. Help me, help me. Me, 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 me. Me, Good, thank oh, god that they came back and won that fight, bro. Bad at the end there, M80. Ended up losing that fight. I mean, the annihilation on the I board. really like listening in on the comms. The that's a really good, good fucking Keys thing that they do. The, uh, echo as well now. Really that is like that's that's, that's entertaining as fuck to listen to the comms. So quickly just shooting at the Malga and pretty easy to focus down as well if you got that focus in beam. Yeah, that's something the desk was talking about a little bit earlier. We saw Sugarfree uh, run the Echo a lot yesterday. I know it may just deter teams from actually switching over uh, to the Malga. I think it's just kind of like, how do you keep that Echo alive, right? It, you know, oh right now it's Hydron. What? I mean, they, uh, they had a trade. They had a trade. Oh, sorry. It's a trade, though. So, so you're in a decent spot. Was yeah, that he a just punt? It almost looked like he's doing the punt. <laughs> <laughs> he just died to the wasp. Yeah, it sounds like nothing like ranked. Yeah, because Hydra. people are actually communicating and trying to win. No way Sounds, you can point yeah. out your luminosity, not against those uh, ultimates. That rush going down was key to them capping there. Ultraviolet does manage to TP away. Jubi's Had a nice be. little off angle. But they are Sound Barrier. Yeah, that will be important. There's the Death Blossom. Nice little Suzu. Sound Barrier comes out as well. That Death Blossom perfectly negated as Hawk ends up falling for M80. 99%. It's going to be a pretty easy flip here from Luminosity. Use their rush a little bit later there. And Luminosity still have uh, ult for this next fight. And they could very well make this the last one as well. This dupe can be deadly. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm curious, I was going to say, if M80 feels the need to swap here, which... And they, uh, have, they just have okay, two Pelican ults for this like last fight. The mirror, the Echo, where, but M80 is going to have beat, so... You know, Echo v Echo in the sky, sure, you can take that fight, but you'd almost rather be the Tracer against uh, the Echo as, you know, M80, nothing really to work with here outside of this beat. So, going to have to probably try and take some position on the point, you know, get some damage down, maybe a big Maga charge, and then the Sound Barrier. Trying to find nice. The there it is. Does land. Hits the Suzu though. And then Suzu. The Try marching forward. A sound barrier. Both the uh, copy and the pulse bomb. You take that. Lep coming up with a massive sound barrier and Hawk finishing up with a couple of kills. I mean, that's just M80 running away with this. That duplication, not finding anything at all, Matt. A two points to the Malga. It definitely nerfed with this new Malga hotfix, but that found next to naught. M80 are just going to run him over, and a 99 to 99 will be M80 taking the first map 2 0. Yeah, I mean, Pelican. Pel is right Pelican now. playing we, on ping chat or no? A while now. Uh, it looks like at least here off the start. So we'll talk a little bit more about Luminosity right there on D. Uh, they'll run that Zarya yet again. So they did have some success uh, with that Zarya in play. Uh, I think it's just, you know, maybe even giving Dante a little bit more resources to live. Uh, I know he's using those bubbles both offensively and defensively. Uh, I know whether it be on like King, maybe trying to stay in the back line a little bit longer or uh, protecting Bro. the supports on his side of things. Uh, M80 looks to be hovering. I, I don't uh, know how Arisa I feel about the Zarya pick, but they it, they're used, cooking. Uh, on map number one. So, uh, you know, some uh, some differences here in terms of like, you know, seeing the, the tank difference, but in terms of the DPS and support, nothing else. Yeah, no two shot, uh, no real shock there. Not too much of a surprise. Hydron and Pelican, Sojourn Tracer, and Vision King, Sojourn Tracer. You love to see it. Yeah, Dante, at least on this Sojourn map as well. having the ability. No, go on. He no, I mean, Sojourn just having the ability to just, like, burst targets down, like, yeah. within, you know, seconds of, uh, you know, just building up some charge. And then also being able this to... This is, uh, and Sea Salt kind of like and a, Vinegar Chips, uh, yeah. ...to turn into a push there with a Disruptor shot. Like, she's she's always going to be around, just yeah. like a Tracer. I just wanted to finish the bag. Pretty much all of his Infinite armor, and he damage. has to back out, and they're going to lose Pelican. Dude, he's yeah. taking so much. He kind of stepped onto the point, and was like, oh, I'm half HP. Tried to step back out, and an Ultraviolet, which is just pumping in full of heals. You can tell, like, the old charge looking uh, rather topped up there for UV. All right, yeah, we're going to go again. A little small kill on Luminosity's side, meaning uh, M80 had to go for a small reset here. Luckily, though, they're going to get quite a few attempts. The comp does go pretty fast. Hydron full energy right now, trying to force Dante to use bubbles, but from this distance, very unlikely to do so. 
Although saying that, it looks like a small off angle from Hawk there. Did force at least one of them. And there's the second one as well. All right, King goes down to a, a kunai there from UV. And this position from Hydra 2 is just absolutely stellar. It's forcing Luminosity behind this big red truck here. And actually, they're going to push the rush and push the tempo up to the maximum here, trying to push Hawk away from the point. Does take the mega health back and actually lose Lep on the rotation. I'm surprised they're not pushing yeah, someone. They're so split well right now. Into that mega health pack area because he knows that Dante is like pretty well charged as uh, Vision putting down some nice shots again. Uh, no, really nice uh, first map there for Vision uh, on the Sojourn, but yet again getting off to a good start. Where you know, when Hawk loses that armor and then Dante's charged up, he is going to just chunk down. Oh. Both those overclocks being ripped, and King only just a moment ago did he spawn, but he's straight back. Sound bar for Juby, though, and look at that. Dante already immediately pushed away. There was no chance for Dante to enter that fight. Yeah, Hawk I'll be honest with you, chat. The spear walked at him, and Dante couldn't do anything. That was a good hold first hold. On tight and hope he survived, and unfortunately, I liked he it. didn't. Four minutes to go. It was go. like a, was like a two minute and ten second rolling. hold. And because it was quite a quick team wipe, Matt, there's going to be an early rotation up to high ground for M80. I mean, uh, Dante had two bubbles in Sound Barrier there and just melted. Uh, I mean, just the damage with the overclock. There's also a Kitsune Rush for M80 in the mix, but... And then Hawk able to just displace Spear, do damage. I mean, that's where you see the Orisa shine is uh, it's going to be M80. They're going to just give up the high ground at this point. Is uh, King going to go maybe look for a Pulse Bomb here? Throw it on the Hawk. Feels like a little bit of a waste. Yeah, definitely, especially when all the armor is left. Did hear a pulse bomb go off though? It was Kings, and yeah, no pulse bomb. Kills giving up a lot of space here. I oh, never yeah, heard of this uh, org called M80 chat. Does anyone know yeah. where, like what game or their primary least, uh, like in? It's going to be a little bit of a distance between the two hit scans, I suppose. But nice rotation from M80, seeing that Luminosity have uh, backed all the way. That one. Graviton surge available for Dante, but still doesn't want to throw it at a hawk. Can be eaten by the spear spin, of course. Speaking of which, there it goes. Fortify have been used. Oh, drag straight back in. Hawk says, "Come to me." That graviton surge from Dante went in, sure, but uh, Hawk tried to close the door once again with that terror surge but it was actually Dante that come up big once again with the kills nice, nice shot what are they what are they based out of positioning too super far forward to try and catch the exits yeah Bury M80 though it's pro you probably don't really feel too terrible about that right like look at how much payload progress they got for a relatively just one you know fight oh they're uh, an NA the team really from Pelican uh, could be huge with the way that uh, we know that he plays uh, on the tracer seems to always land a pulse bomb and then they have a kitsune rush like if you can just get to the payload i think that's like kind of the thing right keep everybody alive maybe for some of the you know high ground control here for themselves uh and then use the rush you can probably get second checkpoint yeah, and they're setting themselves up for exactly that, it looks like. Jay trolling hard. Giving up the high ground I've never heard of M80 in my quickly. life. I thought it was a spray a can, but apparently it's a firecracker or whatever. Yeah, there's one bubble forced already, and uh, that Kasune rush mm. layering most of the point, or at least next to it. Oh, there was no chance for Squid to survive there. Pelican already in the back line too causing quite a ruckus as that point is uh, capped. I feel like fairly easily again. Three minutes and 20 seconds. Yep. Normally that second checkpoint is just such a choke. Apparently that's, map. I thought it was but a spray can looking, chat, but apparently it's not a spray can. Their logo is a firecracker or some shit. Quite quickly. I mean, it's literally one fight, right? Uh, I know they get that, you know, they pretty much get the payload all the way to that second checkpoint. And then they just end up, you know, losing, you know, in, in essence, right? But really, you know, forcing some of the ultimates out and getting an ultimate advantage coming back, you know, just getting a good use of the rush and that's it. Uh, and you're able to quickly take that second checkpoint. So uh, a little bit less than three minutes on the clock here for M80. And they're still in a pretty healthy spot in terms of ultimates to get another fight win. Oh, Dante, the main focus for Hydra right now, saving that power side to get away from that sound barrier. Dante just marching I really... forward, but already that over shield or over health from both Lucio Sambaris has already dissipated. Nice little spear again. Vision still on the hunt for a headshot. He's being quite aggressive here, but knows he has the power slide to back him up. But there's Hawk trying to go over Vision. Kazuna Rush being ripped too. Terror Surge. Oh, leap away, and Hawk instantly nice. just getting <laughs> evaporated. I mean, Terror Search, yeah. You got that extra little bit of Fortify there, Matt. It, that's, that's all great, Hawk and all. But uh, the problem is there's a rush in front of your face and the fully charged Railgun. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, like, Hawk's trying to get into positions where he doesn't take, like, large chunks of, you know, his HP pool before you can, you know, 
really engage on the opponents, right? <laughs> yeah. Kind of goes in from that side angle. I still don't. Basically I don't. I don't know how I feel about the Zarya, but into a fortify, they know what they're doing one, apparently. And then now has no more cooldown, so then has to use the terror surge to kind of get another fortify, but uh, just kind of crumbles over amongst all that pressure that's coming on through. But I uh, know that is the Kitsune rush gone uh, from Luminosity. Luminosity still holds onto this grab, so we'll see how Dante wants to use it. Yeah, it's been a tough ask for Dante to get one of these grabs off. Past Hawk is going to be a bit of a problem, but only needs to catch one. You only need to go for one. It might be a Hydron too. It's extremely low on the sidelines. Dante with a quick bubble onto King as King tried to follow up on that damage from Dante's right clicks. There's the spear pin. Dante uses that momentum to just jump back onto the floor here. Grab it on Nice surge, grab, but. Place, but oh, the kills? Oh, good shit. Are. Okay. Right okay. Into that grab. Both DPS succumbing to the high charge Zarya. A minute to go now for okay. MAD. Still got another big chance here, but Luminosity, their old bank, is looking at. Colleen only used one in that fight and they got Overclock and a sound barrier coming up. Well, just like how we talk about, uh, you know, Terror Surge, right? Like inside of the rush, like, you know, they actually have to kind of like run down that alley. You can do really nice things. So the same thing kind of with a graph. That time though, Luminosity, they back out Woo! once that Kitsune rush comes through. The spear spin already gone. And then, you know, it's pretty safe to throw that grab in the mix. And uh, Ultra Battle going to go to the Baptiste here. So a little bit of extra, you know, more health to try and keep Hawk up. Nice bowl, thank you. Last 30 seconds, though. Oh, it's a mixing bowl. This is not a dog bowl, it's a mixing bowl. Have you never fucking cooked a day of your life? Nice. Oh. Okay, nice. Nice comms, bro. What's up, Kaido? Appreciate it, appreciate it. All you need to do, just wait for the spawners to come in, Matt, and that's kind of demonstrated perfectly there as Dante leaps back into action on the Doom first. You know what I love about that listening is, uh, I, you know, I believe it's, you know, we're watching from Vision's POV and yeah. you know, don't know all the voices, but assume it's him since we're watching him and shoot the BAP. Uh, when he calls, the BAP is really Do the team one. see the same Just regular the colors or does that mean you see the enemy team is blue? Same colors or whatever color they have. Shot. It's like, no guys, seriously. Set for their really one. Like, actually settings. is one. No, seriously, he's one. Uh, I, I feel like uh, you know, he's one shot as, you know. There are three uh, call outs. from like in overwatch 40 man. hp down is exactly. he's one shot i feel like at this point they're low which means they're anywhere yep. between 90 percent hp and 50 percent they're one which means what 50 to maybe 30 and then yep. real one is like maybe 10 percent hp you know like there's uh <laughs> the vinegar on these ships and now c9 is, uh, is whenever when somebody doesn't finish an objective it's just a c9 mm -hmm. at this point everything's a c9 everything is uh yeah exactly every term is getting just melded into one it's all good enough time has passed people forget it's fine good defense i don't though. think they forgot Nah. well that's true <laughs> yeah I, that's true yeah I myself has a, have a memory of a goldfish, so I have forgotten. Oh, don't die. Oh! Okay. Uh, wow! Oh, okay. Holy okay. shit, right. that's okay, a chill. fucking insane pick! Out. That is. Pretty good start there. That is not great. <laughs> That is ha ha it's not ideal. That hasn't happened in a while where you get spawn picks like that. That is a free ticket Mitch then. And I, uh, Mitch and I had one, I think, like last week where it was like a. Uh, King's Row Widowmaker just shot a Sombra. Like, the Sombra was just standing there, fired some shots, and the oh same type of thing God. happened. Two ticks for free. That is the freest two ticks you will ever see uh, on Midtown. Nice push here. No bubbles, yeah. They're definitely calling no bubbles right now. Easy cleanup from Mr. Hawk. Oh, they do end up killing Hydra, but it shouldn't matter. Ew, bro, much. stop. I mean, Yo, Molly, well, stop with, with your ketchup chips, bro. Man. Ketchup chips are fucking disgusting. Less than that. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, uh, they, they just oh, need to kind of, like, either, yeah, these players need to stay alive or get out. Uh, 
because they are in a really dangerous spot. Both supports there, actually. Ketchup chips are the fucking the disgusting. Side, so. Stop. You guys are weird. Now you just need to get one extra tick. Uh, uh, I mean, there you can play a lot, uh, you know, more loose if you're Luminosity, right? Uh, but you see there, just gonna pressure Dante down. God. When he doesn't have both bubbles for himself, I mean, he is screwed right there. Oh, what a fucking recall! What a recall! Wait, King's what? cooking right now. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what Juby was King cooking, but King is cooking. King! Okay, King! Okay, King! He just killed, almost killed the entire team. Okay, King! Kills. Where's the fifth? Give me the fifth! Give me the fifth! Pelican in his oh. sight! Oh, oh vision! But we'll take it, King. Four no, kills for the tracer. Vision, he took it. Now. Still a chance there for M80 to maybe get back into this one, but with 33%. No, I don't think they're getting this chat. Unlikely. Yeah, M80 went. was not going to be able to contest that. Psycho <laughs> on the back line. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, you know what? Vi they, they pretty much win the first point off of you know, Vision getting a Widow shot into Ultraviolet at the start, and then King essentially getting an ace, uh, just basically just running through everybody. Uh, gets both uh, supports and Hawk. Just a really tremendous play there from King, and that's going to allow Luminosity here, second part of the map. Uh, no, they're definitely behind in terms of some key ultimates here, you know, really just kind of looking at, like, the tank ones. Um, but... Look at this, uh, M80 not doing what Luminosity decided to do. Luminosity gave up so much space, uh, you know, on their defense. And King is kind of push on clapping. Not doing the same, but the King other team's cheats, you know, bro. King just keeps on killing. This overhaul from Vision did find a couple of little headshots there, but nothing substantial. Dante, like you said, Matt, is just moving the payload. Uh -oh. oh, okay, finally someone shut him down. It was left at the end of it. There's the rush on the point. Pork is in a whole lot of trouble, surrounded by members of Luminosity right now. Just managed to spear spin and push Dante away. Terra Search is good enough as well, just pulling everybody in, giving uh, Hawk some extra sustainability too. His ability to bully Dante is just unreal. Dante can't really get much damage in. He's firing as much as he can at Hawk, but Hawk just has so many defensive countermeasures. They end up winning in that fight and more importantly as well maintain control of this high ground too a fairly clean fight for them with luminosity going for a full reset yeah i mean uh dante can get charged up on that zarya but yes he's obviously both bubbles to do it and then he has nothing uh defensively able to keep him alive and then that's when they decide to run him down and, like good grab <laughs> yeah, just connect uh, one hydron grab, l kill. yeah good grab wrong place wrong time for hydron there hawk Getting pressured a little bit out too. Dante is super high charge. No bubble though to save Vision as he gets pulse bombed. And now M80 want to pressure the back line once again. Use that sand barrier to push Dante to his absolute limits. 100 ch charge on the Zarya, but uh, you can't just burn down Hawk like that. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. And M80 still holding on to this high ground. Yeah, and, and the high ground is key. I mean, you see the difference in terms of the defensive setups, right? Where M80 wants to play, you know, way more aggressive, active here on the high ground, drop Ooh. down. And Luminosity played a little bit more defensive on their end, where you know, they gave up so much car progress. And now we're going to see Dante actually match here in terms of the Orisa. So get a chance to see what this looks like in the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, Dante Orisa now. Looks like a rare sight. Who do you have winning this map? Rare, but it, it feels like it. Hopefully, Luminosity. King with the pulse bomb. In his back I don't want right to see my. I don't want to see my org M80. lose. Pretty close to losing this. But I mean, M80 is a really good fucking team. Out into the, uh, into the wide open space as Hawk and the rest of M80 just looking down upon them. Looks like Dante is going to try and push the back line. Ultraviolet using that Suzu already to protect himself from the Orisa. Plus this railgun coming through from Vision too. Now they have to contend with a rush on the point. M80 are going to have to be able to touch here. Vision's forced to slide away. The terrorists come on, man, come on. Space, but where's the damage? Where's the follow up? Hydron with the overclock will make sure this damage sticks. M80 continuing to hold a minute and 20 seconds oh. to go. And that's a clean team kill, Matt. And Luminosity going for another reset. Used a lot in that fight, too. They got a beat in a Terra Surge, maybe to win it out. Not sure they're going to get much more than this in this round. Uh, and although it's a losing fight for Luminosity, I thought it was actually, like, much more competitive of a fight than playing that Zarya. Like, Dante was quickly able to get to the back line. You know, force out of Suzu. Dante's on the horse now, chat. Uh-oh. Dante's on the horse. That'll be sound barriers for both teams. They both have to come down pretty perfectly. Pelican didn't want to go too deep there. Forced a recall. Still has a pulse bomb. Doesn't need to worry about bubbles either this time. Senses that Luminosity had taken that high ground. Spidey senses were correct. M80 
not wanting to go down without a fight, though. The longer they can test on the high ground, too, the longer that payload uh, takes moving back. Worth keeping in mind, it's still slowly rounding that corner once again. Pelican being so patient as well knows that maybe he could just make this the last fight. Terra Surge hits three. There's the stick, but a sound barrier comes fucking, out just in time. What a Dante's good beat. Still pretty low, so ends up backing towards the payload. What a good beat by Juby. Ends up using his last fight, late, chat. Who do you think wins? The rest of the gang could just charge on in. It's up to Lunarossi now to try and get to the payload in time to get the touch. Uh, Five seconds to go. His left is just corralling the entirety uh, of Lunarossi into this underground subway station, and he's up to King now. To I think that's a GG the right there. Maintain it there. So he wasn't really in that fight at all. King Dante, they're gone. Luminosity halted. Right oh my there. God! Stabbed and in the M80 face. Eighty will solidify this series two and O. Oh. I know in push, yeah. right? But still, <laughs> I know we got a, a coin flip of uh, you know, one or two maps once we get one out of the pool. So uh, Coliseo, it feels like you, know, you kind of feel you can win this like 50-50 battle here at you know midfield, so to speak, right? Versus, I get the subs right now, you know, and I'll give all the channel points to LG. See way more of the map where you know Coliseo like you know, typically here you know that first high ground and that's about it yeah you can definitely play a little bit slower here if you are the Zarya good spear straight after a body shot landed on the Sojin but now with both bubbles down yeah Hawk knows it just pressing W M1 now it's to back yeah up what's himself. up chocolate Ooh, I'm hoping they go at, ahead of schedule right, right now they're a little bit ahead of schedule which is good much, uh, done and done well your speed sorry done and dusted that's uh Bad for the Zarya, or bad for the Arissa, sorry. Payload moving. Luminosity with a very, very nice early pick. Chocolate, this when are you going to come so here, bro? Get the payload, I have uh, cookies. Way. And being able to hold this corner too is going to be really nice for Dante and actually forces M80 to go for a, for a swap. Going over to the monkey now instead yeah, of that Arissa. Pick. Yeah, a uh, Winston pick here for M80. So uh, maybe it's just a little bit easier to even access that back line. Uh, you know, put some pressure. Is, and when we've seen the Orisa get in and then not able to get out, it's very difficult where Winston's a little bit more mobility. As uh, Hawk down to 100 HP is going to get healed right back up as uh, it'll be M80 now in control of the buck. Good dive there from Hawk. Also separates the heals from the rest of the team. I'm just too. laying around. I can pull up whenever. Whenever you want to pull up. On himself or one of the healers. Oh, well. Just way more mobile on that, uh, on that hero and on the comp too. Can you do a handstand? Massive. No, I can't, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate the massive dono. I am not. They're trying to I can't. That, like, uh, you know, upper perch. It feels like if you can't control that, you kind of like let them come down. What is this copy pasta? Round, but Vision finds a shot on the ultraviolet, so that's gonna force him to back up. You cannot fight this uh, without your Kariko, especially you know with the Kariko with Kasune Rush. Yeah, this is this feeling like textbook Colosseo right now. Ah, the Sojin got a pick. We reset. Ah, our Sojin got a pick. Ah, we push. <laughs> textbook Colosseo mid fights. Not uh, not further than this archway. Neither teams have moved that box. Rush has been pulled by both teams though. Vision trying to get back to the rest of the squad, but I mean Dante's just gonna be an absolute mess in the front line, even more so now with that uh, sound barrier coming out. This ends now, says Hydron, but where are the kills? Nothing in the kill feed so far. Pulse one thrown out, Suzu used there on Dante and Juby to make sure they stay up and alive. A later overclock here from Vision, still hunting and finding the Lucio, not quite enough. To okay, chat, type exclamation mark streamer. On surge from Dante should seal the deal. Can you do a cartwheel. Lasses! No! Line, trying to juggle that bot. I can't no do a backflip, a handstand, a cartwheel. I can't do any of that. And I'd love to know. I appreciate the massive dono again, my dude. What they're kind of thinking is here with, you know, bringing in the Winston. It hasn't looked bad, but also, like, in the Arisa Zarya mirror, they've been able to win, like, pretty consistently, right? Uh, maybe it's just an extremely long kind of, like, you know, gap and sightline that you have to close on Coliseo, right? Like, create. Wait, so my fucking bot doesn't even like copy so the whole message. You reset to get a, uh, you know, close that gap. Maybe that's why you feel like you need a little bit more mobility, but. Uh, no, they actually kind of take the bot where it looked like yeah. Nazi backed out for just a, a brief second. And it looks like Pelican just started scoring the bot the other way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, wow, Luminosi aren't. Why were they not pushing there? But yeah, Pelican just stole the bot. Pelican just ran away. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of walked. All right, I respect it. Okay. Primal Rage available from Hawk now. Might be a bit of a problem, especially as one bubble's already been used. Speaking of which, there's two. There's the primal. Oh, that pulse bomb as well. The connection onto Juby is good. And that primal rage just 
doing so much work in the front line. The problem is with the Zarya comp too as well, Matt. You, you do need to be an LOS of your Zarya to receive those bubbles. So as soon as Hog sees one, maybe two go down, right? He can just jump in with Primal and start just uh, trying to get the Sojin out of here or get even the Kiriko out of there as well if they've used their Swift Step already. It's uh, really tough for the Zarya when the, your entire team is kind of scattered everywhere and you've got to prioritize your bubbles correctly. Yeah, this feels like a must win. This, play this game looks pretty Ruminati. even so far. Right at the start. He's got the sound barrier. I mean, that is massive. If Lep wants to, could throw this one in here for M80, secure that checkpoint, but probably not even necessary. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, they should be able to juggle touch here. Hawk's going super low, but I think the ball may be a little bit too far forward. No, it's not. Dante can still can you the twerk? No, sure Lassen, stop with these questions. And so it doesn't look like an What the Especially not for five bucks, bro. I appreciate the match. No, no, Prideful Daisy. I appreciate that's a prime. Hope you're having a great day. Jumping onto the high ground. And then the overclock has been pulled. Same with Hydron. Well, high ground advantage is very much in Hydron's favor, but Vision, not too scared, jumps up there with the sound barrier. However, that robot has been stolen once again, Matt. <laughs> Oh, good grab. Yeah, but it's going to be a, little, a, a beat here potentially for Lap as uh, they're not able to save Hydron, so they end up do losing that Sojourn. The bot goes briefly the other direction. But, oh, it's been stolen you know, again. M80. <laughs> yep, it, it's, go, it's going back towards their way. Like, look at this. Like, Luminosity just has to run. There's like, no way. You might get the no, checkpoint. don't get the checkpoint. Don't get the checkpoint. No, nice. Don't that would have been a That would have been really bad. They're stealing the bot that far to get checkpoint. <laughs> but still, winning that fight, winning that fight there, like, in keeping the bot moving in your direction for luminosity gets you probably closer to tying the game you know in terms of like meters on the board but because the bot goes all the way the other direction uh, you're gonna be at this like nasty spot where nobody really wants to fight like pushing into the opposing team's high ground yeah they're just gonna play on the bridge wait for a pick with a rail gun i'm at the overclock sad there's the rush from squid almost instantly falls prey to it himself as we're going down to Pelican, nice little dive there. I mean, MAC's dive looks so nasty just on paper in terms of name value, but I mean, it's put into practice right there and then Squid's the perfect target to take down as Luminosity have to get out of there. Hmm, this, uh, that is a brutal oh. turn of events there for Luminosity, right? It is, uh, I mean, get, get, gets even worse. It potentially looked like you could have you know, gotten some you know, bot progress. Pelican escorts the other way. Then you get, kind of get back towards that you know, midfield area. You lose that fight. And then the next one, you lose your sojourn right off the rip. So this is going to bring that bot all the way back to a spot, though, that they will be able to contest from this high ground. We'll see how M80 decides to try and break this. Yeah, the probably still want to use this rush up on the bridge. It's so strong. Sandbar from Juby did hit everybody on Luminosity side, but just like that bot eventually hit that checkpoint so they can't perma contest anymore 67 meters and counting now is that overclock from vision that tries to find any value oh the collapse pelican and lev falls to the collapse of that come on guys come on guys oh my word because i've got age since we've seen one of those that's well. actually really Good huge that they won the team fight they have people the on the cart and the cart's and already probably going to take the out the, the checkpoint I mean, you get okay, two people have bad spawns. Which is massive. And then Luminosity still has to push through this extremely difficult area where, look at this, I mean, the high ground control already favors M80, where typically teams don't want to push into this. They'd rather have, like, M80 push the bot back to that choke, you know, fight more towards where that bot spawns, like a little bit, you know, closer to this side of the map, uh, and then try and get that push. But they're kind of forced into this really awkward situation where they have to fight. All right, Hydra wants a clip for twinning out. Pulse bomb. That's a uh, way off mark. Oh, that was close. Squid takes uh, a rail. Buddha, pretty massive 100 bits, my friend. Now, once again, Pelican has stolen the bot, but it looks like Hydron's going to be the target focus here for Luminosity, but they can't quite get their hands on him. It's so hard. I mean, it looked like Hydron had multiple slides there, like multiple charges on the power slide, but it was just the sound barrier, the speed boost, and just being a very, very slippery soldier and just making sure he can stay alive in these fights. And Luminosity unable to pin that soldier down it means M80 control the bot again. They can get it moving past this checkpoint, get it forward spawns, and they're in a good spot to win this map, Matt. Yeah, this is where it becomes uh, incredibly. Who won the SSG push, right? game? You know, uh, have to the lower bracket, fights, SSG. Probably win like three in a row, and if they don't win you know, one of those fights, the bot goes all the way back to the start. Is yeah, we will have Vision coming in on like Cassidy here, probably. I uh, you know a little bit more of a defensive. Pick. It's not then, over uh, for Luminosity. Stop chat. Also, like, Stop. Sight lines, you guys are jinxing. You guys are giving my team bad luck.
There's the rush on the ball. Graviton Surge hits UV. No Suzu available. Wasn't even in his own rush, sadly. There's the catch coming up dividends, but that's more Dante picking up that kill. Sound barrier for Juby's good here, but Squid ended up going down and now Vision the target. Where's the bubbles for Dante? Must be out of them already. And now M80, all they really need to do, Matt, is stall. 72 meters to 48. Luminosity has to invest into that fight to get the win, but it's M80. They can now just defend here on this bridge, on this high ground. And honestly, I don't think they're even going to do that. They're going to play the mid fight again. Yeah, and the more clock they burn here, the better, right? I know they're going to end up building towards, I know, some support ultimates here. Yeah, you see Pelican you with this pulse bomb just trying to force out, like, uh, you know, maybe some of the Zarya bubbles where they have about three fights here to work with M80. Pulse bomb for Pelican in his hands as well as Dante just continually getting peppered in the back. And now, with Squid dead already, that's the third fight in a row. It feels like he's fallen over. That Pulse Bomb didn't find kill, but it find massive damage. Hydron's got the overclock in 10% as well. I mean, this high noon's going to buy some a little bit of space, a little bit of time, but where Squid needs to get back into this fight, the health bars for Luminosity, they're bleeding, and they might just be bleeding out here. M80 coming up with the kills. A 3-0 in there. Sight no. to Luminosity Gaming no. will fall. No. The overclock is just the cherry on no. top as M80 advances. Now. In the upper brackets. Yeah, extremely strong performance. Yo, does that does M80 need a content creator as like a streamer? I'm calling it right now. LG's gonna go to the lower bracket. LG's gonna win the lower bracket. They're gonna get their fucking revenge on yeah, on really what do you solid, call it? Like super solid right now. They're gonna get um, their revenge is, on M80. The looks fantastic. Trust. Switching over to the Trust. Too. They still got okay, friends. YouTube thinks you might like this next video, so let me know if they're right.